we're going to talk about foot bathing. So when using foot bathing, it's important to remember that this is a surface treatment. So it will treat bacteria on the surface of the foot, but not when they've penetrated into deeper tissues. So foot bathing can't be used as a treatment for a more invasive condition like foot rot, but it can be useful in an outbreak of scold in a group of lambs. Other key things to remember when using foot bathing as a management practice are to make sure that you've fully looked at the instructions on the product that you're using as they can vary in how they should be used. So different products will have um, different times that animals should be standing in the foot bath. For example, um, zinc sulfate will often require the animals to be standing for 20 minutes in the solution. So it's important that your facilities allow this. Another thing to remember is the cleanliness of your foot bathing facilities. So muck and dirt within the foot bathing solution will often inactivate the product within it. And so it's really important that you make sure it's clean um, and only run the recommended number of animals through um, before changing it. It's also important to make sure that you get the concentration right. If it's not high enough, um, the product won't be effective. But at the same time, if the solution is too concentrated, it can actually irritate the skin um, and cause soreness and potentially more lameness than you started with. Another thing to remember is that once you've run the animals through the foot bath, they should be left on hard standing for a minimum of 20 to 30 minutes. This allows the product to dry um, and have its full effect before they return to the field that they were grazing. It's also useful if you can to turn them out onto a clean pasture once you've used the foot bath.